Hey guys, it's Ashley. Today I'm going to be showing you guys five easy and cute back to school hair looks or just journey occasions. So for this video, you will be needing three items. Brush, scrunchy, and bobby pin. So if you have long bangs like me, you're going to need to put your hair up in a poop. Um, it kind of has two parts to it. You can just do a cute side pony or the side pony switch. So let me put my things up. There's no need to do this if you don't have long bangs like me because they won't get in your way. Okay? Alright. So, you're gonna put your hair in a loose side pony. Make sure it is behind your ear. You don't want it to be over it or it's just going to bug you. Okay. Uh, so if this look kind of looks weird on me, doesn't mean you shouldn't try it. It just looks funny on me because I have short hair. Um, so yeah. Alright, so make sure you do it loose, okay? So this part is just the side pony, obviously. Side pony, yeah. Alright, this bobby pin is a horrible bobby pin. Ouch. So, you can wear it like this, or, like, if you want to be cute and sassy, like, just Flip this top part here. Everything. Let's do it a little twist. Or you can curl it. Um, but yeah, this is the first part. You can wear it like this. It's totally fine. And this is where the twist comes into it. So, one of the three twists, you're going to put it a hole right through the middle here. You're going to put your pointer finger and your thumb into it. Okay. You're going to get the ponytail from the outside, pull it in, and voila. There you have it. So, I am horrible on getting in close. I hope my ear is not blocking. Hang on. I hope you can see it. Hang on. There. That's the ponytail twist. It is super cute. I love it. Don't worry. It's not going to do this. It's just because I have my hair in a ponytail all day. And, the, yeah. So that's fine. But don't worry, it's not going to do that. So, it's pretty cute. I like it. You can also put your hair up in a poof like this, if you want. Also be cute. Hopefully your hair is not annoying like mine and won't go up like that. But, yeah, that's the ponytail for us. Adorable. I love it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the second thing is, um... Going to, to be um, a break, kind of. So, yeah, this is easy. I love doing it. It's like my favorite thing ever. You're going to need a little strip of your hair. Okay. You are going to braid it, you can French braid it, do whatever you want. But I'm going to braid it. And when you braid it, braid it back towards your head, okay? You can also do a fish tail of it. Wait, no, you can't. Sorry. Yeah.
Okay, since I have big scrunchies and I don't have the little ones like I need, hang on, I am going to use a yeah, I'm gonna use a bobby pin. Yeah. Let's see, I have my bobby pin in. Mm. I didn't bring it back, but it's okay. Um, so now you're gonna, if you have long bangs, like I said again, you're gonna have to pull them towards your eyes. Get another little piece of hair, brush it out, make sure you don't pull your bangs into it, and do your braid again, same exact way, okay? Okay, should be about done. So this is my brain. I'm going to do exactly good. Now, this is up to you. You can pull your brain to make it look bigger if you have small hair like me, which I do. And pull the bed out to make it look bigger. It kind of keys on it. I did. Hmm. You do it to the side. And I recommend teasing it, but if you already have hair that's thick and the ponytails are a little big, I mean not the ponytail, I'm sorry, the braid, then um don't even worry about it. Mm -hmm. So you're going to yeah. To take out your rubber bands or your bobby pin, depending on which one you use, pull them back to your head, so I'm going to turn them around. You can use an elastic too, because elastics aren't that much, or a bobby pin too. And Bobby pin it back or I hope that hurt rather than it. Okay. But there it is kind of.